Welcome to 10 Minute Teach with Mr. A. In this video, we're going to be learning how to multiply numbers by 100. Okay, let's get into it. So let's write in our first example, which is 7. Now, just using our known facts, we know that 7, 100 times bigger, is 700. But let's see exactly what's going on here. So if we put our decimal place in, and 7 is the same as 7 and no tenths. So I'm going to put a decimal place nice and in line below it. And you'll notice the 100 has two zeros. And that's indicative of how many times you need to move your numbers over to the left. And now if you're making your number smaller, then you know you've gone wrong somewhere because we're multiplying. So we always want to make sure that we're going to the left hand side when we're multiplying because the numbers do get larger. So we want to move the number of zeros that we have in our hundred, which is two. So we'll move our seven, one, two places over. So our seven becomes 700. Our zero moves over with it. And then I've got nothing else. So a placeholder in there to make 700. So seven times 100 is 700. So we can pop our other placeholder in there to make 700.0 as well. Let's move on to our next example. So we've got 2.4 and we're wanting to make that 100 times bigger. So the same as before, we'll do our two movements to the left because the number's getting larger. So it will end up being much larger than 2.4. So we'll put our decimal place in line that we can use as that anchor point to work around. So one, two, so our two becomes 200. Our 0.4, one, two becomes 40. And then I can put a placeholder in there to make 240 or 240.0. It's the exact same number because I've got no tense with it. So our next number is 19.6 multiplied by 100. So I'm going to put that in, there we go and our decimal place just below it. Now, just like the last examples, everything will move two places over to the left to make it 100 times bigger. So our 10, one, two, becomes 1,000. Our nine becomes 900. Our 0 0.6 becomes 60. And we've got nothing else, so we can put in a placeholder. So 1,000. 960 or 1960.0. So our next example here is 2.43. So now we've got some hundredths as well. So 2.43 multiplied by 100. So we're going to try the exact same thing. So popping our decimal place in there. So everything moves two places over to the left, just like we did on the last examples. So our two becomes 200. Our four tenths becomes four tens or 40 and our three hundredths becomes a whole three. So 243 or 243.0, same number. So our next example is 25.09, 25.09, decimal place nicely in line. And once again, everything moves one, two places over to the left. So let's do that. So our two tens, one, two becomes 2000. Our five ones become 500. Our no tenths becomes no tens because we still move that digit over. And our nine hundredths becomes nine whole ones. So 2509 or 2509.0. So our final example has some thousandths in it. So we're going all the way to thousandths, but we still do the same thing, multiplying our number over to the left twice to make it 100 times bigger. So we'll write our number into our place value grid. So 62.898, there we go, decimal place in line. And once again, we move everything two places over to the left. So six tens become 6,000. Two ones becomes 200. Eight tenths becomes eight tens. Nine hundredths becomes nine whole ones. And eight thousandths becomes eight tenths. 
if this video has helped you today, then please consider checking out my other videos, maybe leave a comment for any that you'd like me to do in future, and also maybe a little subscribe as well. Until next time guys, goodbye.